Hey everyone, the brand new plate up update for March is absolutely incredible. A lot of great stuff has been added, things that the community has been asking for, but things that I've been asking for as well. And I'd love to show you guys all the new stuff that they've got going on. So for starters, there is a lot changed here in the garage. Um, you can see right in the middle, this massive island, looks like a topography bird's eye view. This is the brand new save system. So previously, you would have to use a mod if you'd want more than one save file, or you'd have to run the risk of having to lose your favorite run just to play with some friends. No longer is this the case. There are now five save slots that you can rotate in between and play, uh, you know, one at a time. So I'm looking very forward to this. I would hate having to coordinate with Scooty or Wonk Tootie or Cranchan just to play and make sure that one of us has an open save file. Another change they've added is this lower trophy room. So this is super exciting. In the trophy room is finally a way to display some of your achievements and in-game progress. To be honest, I didn't even really know I was level 29. It's not something I think about, but it's nice to see. You can also see your in-game uh, achievements. So these are the Steam achievements, 26 out of 26. I have all 11 foods unlocked, as well as all five uh, map type offerings unlocked too. So the map types are being like city, alpine country things like that and i've got all five unlocked another great feature they've added is this brand new weekly speedrun map and leaderboard so what this is is a rotating uh set seed where all players have the same layout as well as the same cards offered and you're racing to make the best possible day 15 time i'm very excited for this this is going to keep me coming back every single week just to see uh you know how well i'm doing compared to my peers now that said it's important to note that the top percentage won't be that accurate at first. Now, this is because the game cannot tell when it's a modded versus unmodded player. So players who are using like no clip or in played up enhancement mod do have a significant advantage. So don't take the top percentage with much weight. However, it's going to be very fun to compare times. And if you guys want to compare times with me, I'll be posting my weekly time every single week in the discord. So let's see if you can beat it. So the last bit of content that this update brings is the one I'm most excited for. Something I've been asking for a long time. They have added turbo mode. So this mode is effectively an extreme mode. It's hard mode. It's ascension. It's going to be a lot of fun. The maps are nice and big with wide counters. So you can do the optimal serve, but that comes at a price. Uh, these maps have additional customers, but you also get additional blueprints. What the, the idea behind this game mode is so that players who enjoy that very late game style of played up so we're talking high automation high intensity rounds can achieve it much faster not everyone has eight hours to play on the game just to end up losing the run on ot day 40. so this is going to be a great way for players to push themselves but in a little smaller of a time frame to give you an idea of difficulty for example the amount of customers that you see increased is absolutely bonkers a normal day one of dumplings is about one to two customer groups on turbo you start with four customers and then there's an instantaneous additional rush of three so we can expect this to really push the limits of how good of a player you are and definitely expect to see me playing a lot of this over on twitch now we're going to get into showing some of the quality of life improvements that they've done as well in this update so this update has brought in a couple of quality of life improvements as well. First and foremost, there is now a color coding system on the blueprints. You'll see a couple different colors. There's a white border, a yellow, the regular one, as well as a glowing border. Uh, to start, the white border means it's a staple appliance. Now, if you don't know what a staple appliance is, it's an appliance that has a boosted odds of showing up in your shop as every restaurant does need some form of this. So you have sink, it could be hobs, cabinets, counters, things like that um then you have the glowing yellow border now a very interesting mechanic that only people who are absolute turbo nerds and read the wikipedia like myself know what this means and this is a staple blueprint that will no longer be a staple when purchased so a little complicated but what it means is it moves it from the staple appliance pool to the regular appliance pool let me show you what that looks like when i buy one reach search desk you could see the border change right away. That means that this research desk is just in the regular pool of blueprints along with the mixer. Very exciting way to 
show that visual uh to show visually show that change then we have the glowing border the glowing blue border is a upgraded appliance now this can be something as exciting as a conveyor mixer but this is also something as mundane as a expanded bin but regardless i'll be hyped to see some glowing borders in my shops there's also one other case of a purple border now a purple border is for franchise players these will apply to blueprints that spawn in as a result of the franchise for example uh one popular franchise card is that you get a metal table right at the start of your restaurant that metal table that's guaranteed spawn will have a purple border but for the large majority of players it won't really matter so you might see it one day hopefully you do another quality of life change that i've been begging for is a way to see what's in the blueprint cabinet now please hold on to your pants you can now ping cabinets and it'll show you what's in there including the price this is phenomenal there is nothing i hate more than having to organize research cabinets and this is going to be uh this is really going to help a lot so i'm very happy that they added that there are a few miscellaneous uh improvements as well including uh how they organize breakfast upgrades as well as cards now showing you so if you're going to take a food um that food card will show you the recipe the worst feeling in the world is being offered potato salad for the first time in this game because you don't realize how crappy that recipe is uh, and then you're stuck with it so now you'll see what's to come on each food choice card very exciting and it's going to help players really plan out the restaurants a lot better that's it for the update though there are a couple of minor things i didn't touch on so feel free to check out the patch notes over on steam or come into the twitch and ask me why i didn't tell you about them if you think they're so important but other than that that's everything guys i'm live on twitch right now playing played up uh so come and say hi thank you so much